Welcome back, Charlie here. You may assume that if you put a dog and a lion in a cage together, then the dog would only last a couple of minutes. Well, before you judge, take a look at what happened here. A dash hunt dog was put inside a lion's cage. This happened at an American zoo. The dash hunt dog is called Abby, and the lion has the scary name Bone Digger. But after the zoo owner let his dog inside this lion's cage, they formed an unlikely friendship. This is a very unusual and impressive animal friendship. These animal pals eat together, play together, and even nap together. It's surprising Bone Digger the Lion doesn't eat his canine counterpart. Despite how odd this animal couple may seem, they have remained best friends for years. Now, let's take a look at some more animals who survived the impossible. Lion Snare Snares are traps set by hunters and poachers. They're basically metal wire that the animal gets caught in. This is a very common practice in many African countries with poachers, but it occurs nowhere more than in Tanzania. One lion in Tanzania's Mukimi National Park got caught in a snare. This happened in 2009. Under normal circumstances, the lion would not have survived. But miraculously, this snare stayed on the lion for three years. Despite the snare around its neck, the lion kept growing. But this meant the snare was continuously choking the lion's neck for three years. National Park Rangers were aware of this lion's situation. They tried to rescue it three times, but failed every time. That's because of the very tough terrain, and the lion running away from the park rangers, assuming they were poachers. But finally in 2012, a fourth rescue operation was launched. The rangers managed to sedate the lion and they then removed the snare from around its neck. The lion was very weak and in a lot of pain. The snare meant the lion was now too weak to hunt. And under normal circumstances, this lion would not be alive. It's a miracle it survived, but these brave and determined rangers saved this lion's life. Now it can go on and live a happy life in the wild. Daniel the Miracle Dog Sadly, when dogs go to the pound, many of them are put down. For example, every year Peter puts down thousands of dogs. In 2011, a beagle named Daniel was supposed to meet this very fate. He had been found abandoned in Alabama, but no one was adopting him at the overcrowded animal shelter. So Daniel and several other dogs were put into a stainless steel box. The box was then filled with carbon monoxide gas. This is to give the dogs a painless death. All of the other dogs in the box passed away, but miraculously, Daniel survived. The shelter staff were stunned and confused. They decided it must be a sign and kept Daniel alive. It's not exactly known how Daniel survived the poisonous gas. Some speculate Daniel may have had a cold. This would have resulted in him taking more shallow breaths and thus breathing in less of the carbon monoxide. But either way, it's amazing Daniel survived what thousands of other dogs don't every single year. Daniel was named after the biblical figure who survived the lion's den. Six-Legged Deer One day in Georgia, a deer was discovered after being attacked by two dogs. The person who came to the deer's rescue was amazed to see it had two extra legs. The deer has two pelvises, and uses one leg from each to walk. The deer also had two tails, but one had to be amputated because of the dogs injuring it. It does struggle to walk, but amazingly this deer can survive with six legs. Of course, the deer could have been injured in the wild, so instead it was taken to the deer sanctuary at the University of Georgia. There it will make a full recovery from the injuries sustained from the dogs. Plastic Turtle it's no secret that a massive issue right now is plastic in the seas. There is now 5.5 trillion pieces of macro and micro plastic in our ocean, and every day this increases by 8 million pieces. One of the animals this affects the most are turtles, and no turtle represents this better than Mae West. When Mae West was a baby, she walked into a milk jug ring. The ring got stuck on her waist, and this meant her body and shell had to grow around it. This gave Mae West an unusual hourglass shape. 
Mae West is just one example of turtles being severely damaged by plastic waste. Mae West was found by a young boy in Louisiana. Thankfully, his family took it in and cared for the turtle. And it's amazing Mae West survived at all. In many cases, turtles caught in plastic simply pass away. Especially if it gets around their neck and means they can't breathe. Mae West is an exception, but most turtles are not so lucky. It just goes to show how we really have to fix the issue of plastics in our oceans. One thing you can do is cut your milk carton rings. But of course, plastic pollution in the ocean is a much wider problem that we all have to address. Two-Legged Cow We've already seen a deer that had more legs than it needed. But on the contrary, this baby cow was born with no front legs. In most situations, cows may not be able to lift their head up to drink or eat. It would also not be able to move and would likely pass away very quickly. But amazingly, this baby cow learned to walk on two legs, just like a human. The cow was found in Indonesia and it can amazingly walk around on its hind legs. It's amazing what animals can overcome if they have to. Most cows in this situation would not have survived, but this Indonesian bovine went against all odds and survived the impossible. Broken Neck Giraffe Giraffes are famous for their long necks. They need them because all of the food they eat is very high up in tall trees. But what happens when a giraffe breaks its most important body part, its neck? Well, that actually happened to one giraffe in Botswana. This male giraffe is around 15 years old. Its neck is thought to be broken, and as a result, it's very crooked. Normally, male giraffes don't have hair on their horns. That's because they fight and the hair comes off. But clearly, this male giraffe has avoided fighting. That's because it has lots of hair on its horns. The giraffe may have broken its neck fighting at a very young age. This can happen when male giraffes fight over female giraffes. Kind of like what us human males sometimes also do. But despite the giraffe's neck being crooked, it survived against all odds. It must have really thrown off its coordination. That's because its eyesight is offset to the left. But miraculously, this giraffe can still move around, eat and drink totally normally. Siamese Turtle We've all heard of Siamese twins. That is when two babies are born as one person. It's basically two separate people connected. But have you ever seen a Siamese turtle? Most of the time when a turtle is born with two heads, it does not survive. But that is not the case with this two-headed turtle found in China. The turtle was found in 2017 in the Shangxi province. The turtle has two brains and two minds of its own, but they're somehow able to coordinate. They can move around wherever they want to go. And the heads both eat and drink separately. The right head controls the right front flipper, while the left head controls the left front flipper. It's pretty amazing this turtle can not only survive, but thrive. The turtle or turtles are able to perfectly coordinate their movements. Hopefully this turtle goes on to live a very happy and healthy life. Those were some animals who went through big adversities and survived all by themselves. But sometimes animals need to call for backup. Here are some animals who asked humans for help. Iceberg Dog 2013, Eastern Russia. The temperature was below freezing and no one was around in the sea except for fishermen who had to go to work. It was a fairly routine day until the fishermen saw something strange floating in the water. On one of the large blocks of ice was a black blob. As soon as they took a closer look, they realized it was a dog. The dog must have been standing on some ice that broke off. By now, it was stranded in the middle of the sea. The dog must have been freezing, and the fishermen had no idea how long the dog had been out there for. They acted fast and got their boat as close as they could to the dog, but every time they did, it pushed the iceberg further away. That's when one of the seamen decided to risk his life to save this dog. He jumped into the ice-cold water and swam over to the dog. He did this with a rope, which was attached with a hook to the iceberg. His fellow seamen then pulled the dog over to the boat. Eventually, they made it to the ship's ladder, and the dog was brought to safety. The dog was freezing, but was soon warmed up in the ship. 
and was soon reunited with his furry friends. It's one thing to rescue an animal, but this seaman literally put his life at risk to save this dog. Koala Australia is famous for its bushfires, but in 2019 these bushfires were bigger than ever before. This took the lives and displaced more than 3 billion animals. Two of the most affected types of animals were kangaroos and koalas. Many koalas were caught up in the bushfires and unable to escape. But thankfully one hero came to this koala's rescue. An average couple driving by noticed this koala stuck in a tree. That's when the woman acted fast and ran over to rescue the koala. The woman and her husband quickly grabbed some water to give the koala. That's because it was severely dehydrated. The water was also used to cool down the koala that had overheated. The animal was rushed to an animal hospital and thankfully was okay. But if it wasn't for this couple's brave actions, the koala would have been done for. Many firefighters also rescued koalas too. There was an amazing video of a firefighter giving a koala water from a bottle. At times like these, humans and animals really have to come together. Leopard This video comes from Rajasthan, India. During a drought, one leopard was desperate for water. That's when he decided to look inside a metal pot. But in doing so, the pot got stuck on the leopard's head. This must have been very scary and uncomfortable for the leopard. But thankfully, some locals soon found the three-year-old leopard wandering around the streets. It was trying to get the pot off its head. At first, the locals were very scared. They could not find anyone who was brave enough to take the pot off the leopard's head. That's because the leopard may be agitated and then may bite any human that tries to help it. But eventually the leopard was given some sedatives to help it relax. One brave local then took the pot off the leopard's head. Hopefully next time this leopard will be more careful. Eagle In 2010 an American bald eagle luckily survived with its life. That was when a poacher shot off its beak. Thankfully the eagle did survive. But experts said that nothing could be done about the beak. But the eagle's medic was determined to help her out. She contacted an engineer and made her a 3D printed beak. This was inspired by a NASA aerospace program. A mold was taken so the beak would fit perfectly on the bird. A mount was installed on the eagle's beak to keep it in place. The first time it did not fit and various versions had to be made. But eventually they got the beak to stay on. This gave the bald eagle a second chance at life. It can now hunt and chew food properly. Eagles use their beaks for building nests, catching food and also cleaning themselves. Without them, they cannot survive in the wild. Which is why it's so amazing that this 3D printed beak saved this eagle's life. Thirsty Snake this video comes from Karnataka, India. In the area, there was a massive drought a couple of years back. During this time, many people did not have enough water, but neither did animals. One day, a gigantic cobra slithered over to a man drinking water from a bottle. The cobra seemed like it was asking for a drink, and that's exactly what the man gave it. Amazingly, the cobra calmly sipped from this plastic bottle like a human. Cobras are normally very dangerous and sometimes even bite humans. But this video proves that in desperate times, all species on Earth can coexist in harmony. The man is incredibly brave for helping this cobra. After all, at any time, this cobra could have lunged forward and bitten him. But animals are very smart not to injure humans when they're helping them. Cow In 2015 in the UK, a cow was trapped in between two trees in a forest. Thankfully, the RSPCA was called and came to save the cow. The expert rescuers put a harness around the cow. Five men then pulled the cow free from the two trees. The process took many hours, but thankfully the cow was totally fine and did not need any medical attention. Tiny Bird This tiny bird is actually a baby swan. Its head had got stuck in between a plastic fence. Thankfully, someone noticed and alerted the RSPCA. They got onto a small inflatable boat and sailed over to the baby swan. That's when they expertly rescued the baby swan from the fence. Turtle Turtles are expert swimmers. 
But they're not exactly the most alpha predators when it comes to the deep sea. Sometimes they get into trouble and need humans to help them out. That's exactly what one diver named Guy Lloyd witnessed a few years back. In 2018, he was diving when a large turtle approached him. This was surprising as turtles normally avoid divers. But this turtle was clearly asking him for assistance. The turtle had a very spiky shell stuck to its back and could not get it off. After all, turtle's limbs are way too small to reach around to their backs. Thankfully, Guy was able to remove the spiky shell from the turtle's back. The turtle stuck around for a few seconds after the shell was removed, as if to say thanks. And then it went about its day and continued to swim off. Hats off to Guy for helping out this turtle. If this turtle hadn't ran into Guy, then it may never have got this spiky shell off its back. Whale When diving, it's very uncommon to ever encounter a whale. But one day, a diver was approached by a large sperm whale. The whale had a fishing hook stuck in its mouth and it appeared to be asking the diver to remove it. The expert diver obliged and began to remove the hook while the whale stayed still. The diver acted as an underwater dentist and removed the hook from its mouth. You can almost see the whale sigh in relief as the hook is removed. It's amazing how intelligent this whale is. It somehow knew that this human would be able to help. After the hook has been removed, the diver strokes the whale, and unlike what would normally happen, in this instance the whale does not mind one bit. Leopard in a well We've already seen one leopard be saved after getting a pot stuck on its head, but it seems that leopards are too curious for their own good and sometimes need some human assistance. In 2017, this leopard got stuck down a well. This happened in India's northeastern state of Assam. The leopard looked terrified as it had fallen down the well. Thankfully, because it's a feline, it did not injure itself when falling, but it was stuck in the deep well. One incredibly brave man put a ladder down the well and climbed down. Thankfully, the leopard did not attack the man despite being very scared and agitated. The man grabbed the leopard and climbed up the ladder with it. The leopard was sedated slightly so that it would relax. People cheered in excitement as the leopard was finally rescued. It had been stuck down the well for many hours. It was quickly rushed to a zoo where they made sure it was all okay. And amazingly, this leopard did not even need to recover. It experienced no injury whatsoever. But hopefully next time it will be more careful when going near any wells. Dog in 2018, temperatures plummeted in the UK, and this caused one pup to get into a very dangerous situation. It had ran onto a frozen lake, but then the ice cracked. This led to the dog being stuck in the freezing water. Thankfully, someone noticed and alerted the RSPCA. The rescue team risked their lives going on the ice. After all, it could have cracked at any moment. Using an ice pick and a harness, the rescuer made its way over to the dog. The female rescuer then pulled the dog out of the freezing water. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Harvey. Come on. It was a very dramatic scene as the ice was cracking as the rescue was taking place. Thankfully though, the dog was smart enough to walk away from the ice and off to land. The dog was quickly warmed up, but thankfully it was totally unharmed. But if it wasn't for these hero rescuers, then it may not have been so lucky. Snake In 2020, a snake had got stuck down a well in the UK. Thankfully, the RSPCA was called and was able to scoop it out. Using a powerful torch and a large net, the snake was removed from the well. The snake experienced no injuries whatsoever, and was soon placed into a bush and went back into its natural habitat. I think all of these videos prove that while humans and animals are different, we can coexist peacefully. Hard times really bring out the best in people and animals, and also brings every species on planet Earth together. It's amazing seeing humans stepping up to the plate and saving animals' lives. But sometimes, animals passing away is part of nature. And surprisingly, many animals actually do this to themselves. Here are some animals who can take their own lives. 
Babarusa. Babarusas are very similar to pigs, but they have a few major differences. For one, they're slightly taller and their skin is more tough. But the most obvious difference is their horns. They not only have two lower horns like many animals do, but they also have two upper horns as well. You may think these four fangs are great. After all, they allow Babarusas to battle off their enemies. And that is true, they can be useful. The only downside is, these horns never stop growing. Yep, a major design flaw of these horns is that they keep growing throughout a Babarusa's life. Because these horns curve upwards, they can sometimes grow into the animal's head. It would be like your teeth growing upwards and entering your brain. Of course, this can eventually take the Babarusa's life. Its horns can literally grow into its skull, and when it enters its brain, then the animal can pass away. These are also badly designed because they block Babarusa's view. But thankfully, nature did cut these animals a break. Luckily, their horns are very fragile. In most cases, having fragile horns would be a bad thing. But in this case, it means that Babarusa's horns sometimes break before entering their brains. If Babarusas are in the wild, they have to hope they get lucky and their horns break off. This can sometimes happen during fights. And if they're in captivity, then humans will need to remove these horns on a regular basis. Either way, I think it's safe to say this animal got the middle finger from evolution. Turtle Turtles and tortoises are often called indestructible animals. They are known to live for over 100 years, and they are protected by their shells. Their shells are incredibly strong. Seriously, if the army could use these on tactical gear, then they would. But it turns out that nature gave turtles a major design flaw, one that often ends their lives. That is that if a turtle rolls onto its back, it can't roll back over. If you're a turtle and this happens, you'd better pray that you have a rounded shell. Because if you don't, then there's a good chance you will never roll back over. If a turtle gets stuck on its back, there are various ways its life can end. The most common is from the sun. The turtle is not shaded by its shell at all, and it also can't move anywhere to get water. So it basically gets slow cooked by the sun. That is brutal. If the turtle is not in a sunny place, it can simply starve. Because it can't move anywhere or eat, it basically starves and passes away. And another very common way they pass away when flipped over is due to predators. They are totally helpless and can't defend themselves. They can't even seek shelter inside their shells. So for any predators, it's basically open season. Reindeer. Reindeer antlers are very sharp and very large. Combined with the body strength of a reindeer, they can be fierce weapons. But reindeer's antlers often cause them to lose their own lives. You see, reindeer often spar each other. It's very normal for males to battle over females. Kind of similar to humans. But when reindeers fight, normally only one of them walks away alive. However, during some of these fights, the antlers can get intertwined. This means the reindeer can't move properly. They also can't eat or drink and eventually pass away. If this happens near water, the reindeer can sometimes fall in and get frozen. Sometimes people come across reindeer who have become intertwined. They end up freeing them by cutting their antlers. This is painless and can save the reindeer's lives. Ugly. Argalies are also known as mountain sheep. They're mainly found in Central and Eastern Asia. Argalies are the largest type of rams in the world, and they're famous for their very bulky horns. Their horns are great for battling rivals, but they come with a major design flaw. They are in a very unique corkscrew shape, and they keep growing throughout their lives. This means their horns can sometimes grow back into their bodies. This happens a lot to older Argolies. When this happens, it can be very slow and very painful, and this can lead to the Argolies passing away. Sloth. Sloths are known for not doing very much. They spend most of their time in trees, relaxing. And it's no secret that nature has given sloths some major design flaws. For one, they move incredibly slowly. 
When they're in danger, they can run at a maximum speed of 0.16 miles per hour, which means that any other animal will easily catch them. Sloths also sleep for about 20 hours per day, and they're very friendly too. But their slowness, sleepiness, and friendliness often costs them their lives. All of their predators, which are pretty much every animal, can see that the sloth isn't going anywhere fast. This makes them easy pickings for things like mammals and even birds too. Horses and Donkeys Horses and donkeys are on their feet almost all day. And that's why they need very strong hooves. But one design flaw with horses and donkeys is that their hooves keep growing. They need them cut at regular intervals. If they're on a farm, this will happen. But if they're in the wild, then it won't. If their hooves aren't cut, then the animal won't be able to walk straight. This can be very painful to the animal. Uncut hooves often cause horses and donkeys that live in the mountains to fall. Sheep. This is one animal design flaw that can't be blamed on nature. Instead, it's our fault. Over the years, humans have bred sheep to make sure that they're very fluffy. The thicker a sheep's coat is, the more wool can be harvested from them. Sometimes, sheep's wool is not cut in time. And when that happens, things can go really bad really fast. Long wool can lead to heat stroke of the animal and cause them to pass away. Also, if a sheep's wool gets too thick, parasites can build up inside it. This causes a lot of itching, which is why sheep often rub up against trees and fences. This can sometimes cause damage to a sheep's skin. This can then cause infections and the sheep could pass away. We all like having wool products, but is it really worth it if the sheep have to live like this? Bees Nobody likes getting stung by bees. But do you know who dislikes bee stings more than anyone? Bees. When a bee stings you, the stinger is not removed from the bee. Instead, the bee pulls its body off the stinger by force. This ruptures the bee's abdomen, causing it to pass away. The white part of a bee sting is not part of the stinger. Instead, it's the bee's muscles, nerves, and part of its digestive tract too. It's pretty incredible that some animals are designed to take their own lives. But I think these animals are even more weird, mysterious, and bizarre. Here are some very cute and unusual animals you can keep as pets. Sugar Glider Flying squirrels are incredibly cute, but they are wild animals that you can't own as a pet. Sugar gliders, on the other hand, make for a great pet. Sugar gliders are insanely cute. They look similar to a hamster, but they can fly, or at least glide into your hand. They are known for their gigantic and shiny eyes. Sugar gliders are part of the marsupial family, just like kangaroos, koalas, and Tasmanian devils. They mainly drink milk and eat rice. The female's glider also acts as a pouch for its young. It would be pretty amazing having one of these exotic animals gliding around your home. Sugar gliders are native to Australia, but are now in many countries. The average price of a sugar glider is $400. Finger monkey. Monkeys are incredibly cute, but they're mainly found in the wild or in zoos. After all, if not trained well, they can be very aggressive and dangerous to humans. Finger monkeys, on the other hand, make for great pets. These cute animals are called pygmy marmosets, but they are more commonly referred to as finger monkeys. They are only 6 inches, which means they can sit on your finger, hence the name. Finger monkeys are very social creatures, which is why many people get more than one as a pet. Otherwise, they can get lonely and unhappy. These finger monkeys may be small, but they can leap 15 feet into the air. Finger monkeys are the smallest type of monkey in the world, but they are not the smallest primates. That record goes to the Philippine Tarsier. Finger monkeys are rather rare and exotic. And that's why their price range is $1,500 to $4,000. Fennec Fox Foxes are wild animals which are normally found trying to eat stuff out of your trash can. Fennec foxes on the other hand are incredibly small, cute, and can be owned as a pet. They are famous for their magnificent large ears. These foxes are native to Africa but are housed as pets in many countries around the world. A fully grown fennec fox only weighs 4 pounds. 
Some say the Fennec Fox is a cuter alternative to any cat or dog, and many say their behavior is like a hybrid of a cat and a dog. They have the independence of a cat, but the loyalty and playfulness of a dog. Fennec foxes typically sell for about $2,500. They are legal to own in almost any country and live for 15 years or more. Fennec foxes also do not have a musk gland. This means that unlike regular foxes, they don't smell bad at all. Just make sure these playful animals have enough room to run around. Pygmy Jaboa these mini rodents are native to Africa, but are kept as pets all over the world. Many say they're like a hybrid between a gerbil and a kangaroo. They look like tiny balls of fur with eyes. These pets can be complicated to care for. They are most popular in countries such as Japan and South Korea. Because these cute animals are very exotic and have to be imported, they can normally cost over $1,000. Honduran White Bat Bats are normally seen as scary animals, but these very cute, tiny bats from Honduras can be kept as pets. Unlike any other bat, Honduran white bats have white fur. They also have a yellow nose and ears. These can be owned as pets, but most people find it too complex to care for them. They don't need lots of space, but their environment does have to be the same as it is in the wild. They also eat a very rare fig found in rainforests. These are quite hard to collect, meaning that it would be very expensive to feed these. But if you have the means and really love these animals, then maybe it's worth it. After all, they are super cute. Baby Tiger We've all seen celebrities who have pet tigers. For example, Mike Tyson famously wrestled with his pet tiger. Fully grown tigers can be rather scary and expensive to house as pets. But baby tigers are much easier to care for and are also much cuter. Most tigers in the USA are actually kept as pets, not in the wild or in zoos. At first, baby tigers only drink milk. But when they get older, they will start to eat hundreds of dollars of meat per day. That's why many people give their baby tigers to zoos as they get older. But if you have the means and also the space, then they make great pets even as adults. Many rich people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia keep tigers as pets. If they are raised around humans as kids, then they are not threatening to humans when they're adults. But as babies, tigers are super cute. Red Panda Keeping a normal panda as a pet is pretty much impossible, but don't despair if you want a panda as a pet. That's because red pandas make for a great pet. Red pandas are much cuter and smaller than normal pandas. They're actually not very biologically similar to pandas. Some say they're more like bears or raccoons, and others say they are their very own species. Their fur looks amazing and beautiful, and they love roaming around in snowy environments. Slow Lorries Slow Lorries are similar to sloths, but are much cuter and make for better pets. They are famous for their gigantic eyes. They have these because they are nocturnal. This means that if you want to spend time with them, then you better be a night owl. That's because these animals are awake at night and sleep in the day. These primates are native to Asia. They are most popular as pets in Russia and Japan, but they are very expensive, costing around $18,000. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these pets you would want the most. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos you might like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.